Hey, 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 what is up, everybody? Jeremy here, excited to bring you another Starfield shipbuilding video. We have the Space Moth coming at you today. And of course, if you want to see all the parts that are used in this build, you can check it out in a Google Sheet that is linked in the description below. It has all the parts, where to find them, what level you need to be, what skill level you need to have in piloting and ship design to access these parts. And of course, I want you to look at it at the part level because all these parts are interchangeable. And of course, you can set it up for what you have access to. But yeah, just check out the design right here. And of course, if you love our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like this video as well, don't forget to like it. But yes, let's go to the build, everybody. We are going to split this up in into three different sections and we're not going to color it into a light gray because I think you can see all the parts well as is. So we're gonna move the cockpit off and then we're gonna take off the uh, port side. So let's go ahead and try to highlight everything that we can and get mostly everything that's possible down here. Okay. That should be it. All right, and there is one of our glitched items. We have the um, shield generator. Now let's take the starboard side off. Highlight everything, including this shroud bracer in the front. Highlight everything. Oh, I misclicked. I misclicked. I saw that. Uh-oh. We're fine. We're fine. All right. Starboard side, including the docking, the landing bay. We move that. And we have our other glitched item, the H3O Atlas H3 3 tank. And yes, a few glitches in this one as well. So it's like about one, two, three, four, five, six glitched pieces in here. So we this sit back. And we start with the Hope for landing bay. On top of this, we're going to take the Deimos on one berth 2x1. Of course, feel free to use which other, what other manufacturer and have that you would like to use. And underneath the Deimos on one berth 2x1, we're going to bring over the 110DP docker on the bottom. And on top of it, we're going to bring over the Deimos captain's quarter 2x1. And behind all three of uh, these pieces, we're going to bring over a Deimos belly in its aft orientation, an R4000 grav drive, and the 104DS mag inertial reactor, our standard grav drive and reactor for most of our class B builds. On top of this, we're gonna have a Demo Spine A in its forward orientation, a Demo Spine B, and a Demo Spine A in its aft orientation. To the front of all this, we're gonna bring the Cabot C3 bridge, and there we go, that is our center section right here. We're gonna look at the port section, we got the Demo Science Lab 2x1 and the Demo Workshop 2x1. We're gonna grab both of these and place it right next to the other halves right there. Underneath those, we have the AccuLander 11 landing gear in its normal orientation. You see all the points are available to that. And then on front of that, we have the AccuLander 11 landing gear in its port orientation. Now it only has, like, it only has uh, the back, forward, top, and left side of it available to have uh, snap points to. Take, take these two pieces and bring it underneath the hab. And on top of this, we're going to bring over the Stamos Spine A. Um, you have the aft orientation and the fore orientation. Bring that up on top of the Demo Science Lab 2x1. Now, let's go ahead and take our 28T Defender Shield Generator, place it next to the Demos Workshop right there. And then we're going to take this whole section of um, Stroud Cap A's. So first, we're going to take the top. Notice there's a nullifier 1750 suppressor already attached to that. And then we'll take that bottom orientation one, which has the other nullifier 17 suppressor attached to that. Then we're going to take the bottom, uh, the, the, the bottom, yeah, the two, two Stroud Cap A's on the bottom, on the back. Place that right there. And then I'll just move the top so you can see what's going on. Oops. So then we're going to take the two White Dwarf 3015 engines placed it side by side next to each other. And then we have two Stroud engine bracer Bs. Put that right behind these engines. And then we're gonna take our two Stroud cap A's in its starboard and port orientation, no facing the back, and bring it on top of those two engines. And that finishes that side. Now, we are going to break these pieces up a little bit. All right. And then we have these Nova Cowlings, the two L's. 
different orientations. First off, we're going to take the middle piece here, all right, in its um, port and aft orientation. We're going to connect it to the Demos Workshop 2x1. We're going to bring it in, and there's another flip glitch we're going to use. We're going to flip once, flip twice, hit cancel, and it's in there. Then we're going to take the Nova Cowling 2L in its port and 4 orientation, and it's going to be using the engine here as its snap point. Bring it in and flip once, flip twice, cancel it by hitting tab or escape, and it's in there. Yep, all these pieces are connected. Most important part here is the Nova Cowling 2L. This brings the other um, Nova Cowling 2L in its port in 4 orientation. We're able to bring that in front. And on top of this, we have two Vanguard Obliterated Auto Projectors on top, and then two PBO 175 Auto Helion Beams on the bottom. Now we got these two pieces to glitch in. These are the Stroud Cap Bs. I decided to use two of them because you can't really see it anyway, and I'd rather use something you can flip to use the flip glitch because it's easy to use versus using the dropping glitch. So I'm just going to bring that next to the Nova Cowling in the back or uh, the back um, snapping point right there. Flip once, flip twice, cancel it. It's in there. Bring the other Stroud Cap B. Bring it in to the the front snapping piece, snapping point. Flip once, flip twice, escape. It's in there. Bring over the Stroud no Nose Cap C to the front, and then you have the Acu 11 land landing gear in its port orientation and another Stroud Cap A. Bring these two pieces underneath, connect it to the Stroud Cap B's underneath. Boom. All in there. To finish off the side, we have this equipment plate with a Vanguard obliterator attached to it. Bring it on top of the Stroud Cap B. And there is your port side. Let's do the same thing to the Starboard side, we have our living quarters and computer core right there. We're going to take these two halves, bring it over, and connect it to the rest of the halves. And then underneath that, we have our landing gear, starboard, and orientation, and our normal orientation. Bring that over. Bring that over and put it, place it underneath. You know what? Now that I think about it, oh yeah, it is needed. <laughs> it's, like, it's needed because like uh, the Stroud cap needs something to connect to. So that's the reason why I have it have this one in its um, normal orientation. On top of the hab, we have two demo spine A's in its fore orientation and aft orientation. Now let's bring over the H3O Atlas HV3 tank, attach it to the demo's computer core right there into its back snapping point. And now we're going to take all these caps. We're going to take all the bottom ones. Let's go ahead and select all the bottom ones here. And bring it over. And then notice there is a nullifier 17 suppressor attached to the front um, uh, Stroud cap right here. And then we're going to move these three, just move it to the side. We're going to take our White Dwarf 3015 engines, bring it to the back here, connect one to the Damos computer core, and one of these right beside it, attaching itself to the Stroud cap A. Then we have our two Stroud engine bracer Bs, attach that right behind the engines to the Stroud cap A's laying on the bottom. On top of this, we have our, Stra our three Stroud Cap A's on top. Bring it over with one, another um, 1750 suppressor on top of the Stroud Cap A. Breaking this up a little bit, let's move this to the sides. Oops, grabbed a little too much. Perfect, and let's focus on the Nova Cowlings right here. We're gonna take the middle piece the Nova Cowling 2L in its starboard aft um, orientation, bring it in, connect it to, where is it? Yeah, connect it to the um, Demos computer core, that's our snapping point. Flip once, flip twice, cancel. It's all in there. Take the Nova Cowling 2L in its starboard 4 orientation, it's going to use the engine right there as a snap point. Bring it in, oops, bring it, oh, I have Click too many things. Bring it in, flip once, flip twice, escape. Cancel it, and it's in there. Then bring the Nova Cowling in front of the other Nova Cowling. And that's our starting point to start more glitching. We're gonna take our Stroud Cap B, bring it over to the, the back side, the back snapping point. Flip once, flip twice, cancel it. In there, bring the other Stroud Cap B, bring it in. Flip once, flip twice, escape. It's in there, Stroud Cap no C, bring it to the front. We have our Nova, or Accu standard, 
Acculander 11 landing gear, starboard orientation, and our Stroud Cap A. Bring those two pieces underneath these Stroud, these other Stroud Caps. And then in the middle, or well, first the equipment plate with a um, the Vanguard Obliterator. Bring it over, attach that to the top of the Stroud Cap B. And if and we've missed it, you missed it. We forgot to say, don't forget that there's two Vanguard Obliterator of outer projectors on top and of this uh, Nova Cowling, and then two PBO 175 Auto Hellion Beams on the bottom. In the middle of these two pieces, these two Stroud Nose Cap Cs, we're gonna bring over the Stroud Engine Bracer A's. And that will finish off the Space Moth. We're good to go. Let's exit. Let's accept it. Notice I wasn't able to change the name. And then let's go ahead and take a little tour. As we hop to it, Hooray! And let's go inside to take a look-see. First hab we should be going into will be the all-in-one hab 2x1. And... Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. We are entering through that. This is the outpost exit. Here is the docker exit. We have one door only. Going to the right. This should take us to the computer core. Hello there, computer core. On top of that, we should have the living quarters. And through the living quarters, we have the captain's quarters. We have our navigation console. Um, but no bed, so I guess the door eliminated the bed. And another door, which should head to our science lab. There's our science lab, and below that, we have our workshop. And there's no exit here, so you can only access these two pieces through the captain quarter, captain's quarters. And here's our cockpit right here, our two, two decker, our double decker cockpit with stairs and entrance back into uh, the all-in-one, or yeah, the all-in-one hab. So there you go. What's great about the cabinet is that you can glitch a piece right here, like, like a module on the outside. So we, we um, put a strut cap B under here and you don't see it inside the cockpit which is pretty cool it's pretty nice i don't like it when you see the modules you glitch into the cockpit so this is this one cool thing about this cockpit but other than that let's go ahead and fly we have a special battle for you today we're going to show the blato dea battle with the space moth because i was testing it out and we faced the blato dea we're gonna take off we're gonna play our battle music our battle fun music and after we take off, we'll switch over to the video of the, of the Blata Dea fight, the um, legendary ship Blata Dea, which is a roach, by the way. A Blata Dea is a roach, and we have a moth. So moth versus roach. And if, of course, if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am going to just um, now hit escape. <laughs> it's, like, it's like we'll risk it. Let's play the video. Here we go. Here's the Space Moth, there is the Blato Dea. We are facing some spacer scavengers out here. Legendary ship Blato Dea is about to be taken down. We're gonna take out the raccoon first. Bring it over, the chase is on. The Moth takes out the raccoon. <laughs> What's who's next on the Moth's list? This is a dangerous Moth, everybody. This, this Moth is now gonna take out a Scarab. Two insect fight right here. Who's gonna take it? It's the moth, everybody. Now, a moth versus vulture. You would think the vulture would take out a moth any day, every day. How's this gonna go? How's this looking? The moth is running out of juice. It needs to, it's running out of juice. Is it gonna take it? No, it needs to recharge. The moth is recharging its guns. It's shooting its suppressors just to take some hits. It, then the vulture is down. Now it's time to take on the Roach. Moth versus Blato Dea. How is this going to go? Will the legendary spaceship ship survive? Or will the Moth take it off? Moth coming in. Moth getting a target lock. The Moth is showing off its suppressor. Their suppressor, its suppressor capabilities. It's taken out the ballistic weapons. It's taken out the lasers. It's taken out the particle beams. It's trying to take out the engines, but it realizes that it can't because you cannot board the Blata Dea. The moss zooms out for a little bit. 
reorganizes itself, gets in position, takes, shoots off a few valleys, locks on into the engines. And what comes next? Epic explosion. All right, everybody, and the moth will fly off in victory. And that is your battle between the moth and the roach, everybody. Hope you enjoyed these videos. Of course, if you like what we're doing, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And yes, for all the parts in for this build, be sure to check out the Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. All the parts, where to find them, what level you need to be, what skill you need to have in piloting and ship design to access all the parts. And of course, you can always change the parts based on what you have access to. Once again, hope you enjoyed. And of course, more videos coming soon. Peace out. And thanks so much for all the love and support. As always, without you, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support. We'll see you all real soon, guys. Peace out. Too hot to touch